Uh, hey, get this dude. Oh, are you like serious? You, Come on! Turned out. Move! Oh, he dead. Game over. Game over, bruh. Uh, he got that Gordon Ramsay. Oh, get sliced like a cherry pie. Oh. Legendary people. Yeah. We are here. Welcome back to another episode of the Wolf Among Us, bro. Hey, last time we left off, we left off at the door of the Crooked Men. We heard them gossiping in there like some hoes. So let's go ahead and dive into it and let's talk about it. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Everything look good. We recording. We recording. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Maybe, uh... I ain't scared of you. It's go ahead. Wolf, you got a got job to do. You need... Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. Here we go. The sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Look at his eye, bro. His eye hanging low. Oh my God. Why his eye sagging? Oh my goodness. I had to turn me down in the head you for see, this, bro. Everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. What does that mean, bro? Why is everybody? What hey, is everybody is gunning for me, bro. To discuss. Let me pop a smoke real quick, bro. Let me pop a smoke in your face, bro. Yeah. <laughs> pop a smoke right in his face. Let's get it. Oh, man. Come on, bro. Like, what? Are you serious, man? Man, dude. Like, like, bro, come on, man. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, I've been only, I've been live for two minutes and 14 yes, seconds, man, and we here? And so, I guess, bro, I guess. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm really excited to get this done with, get this over with. I think we at the end, because we with the Crooked Man now. The Crooked Man eye over there hanging real low. He look like a little elementary school kid. Mm, teasing all the time. Hey, speaking of that, what the hell was this supposed to mean, too, when you pull your lid down and stick your tongue out? Like, what did that mean in school, bro? Like, how is that teasing? You know in school what used to really piss me off? When people used to be like, I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Like, bro, like, come on, man. All right, here we go. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85% of the players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Did you attempt to remove Narissa's ribbon? You and 63% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Then how come my, why did Big B still go for it then? Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 63% went to the cut above. Oh, for real? Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 73% of players decided Toad should not go to the farm. Okay, cool. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 43% of players lit a cigarette. <laughs> lit a cigarette on his ass, bro. We ain't playing no games with him, bro. We ain't playing no games. Yeah. We ain't playing no games with the crooked man, with the crooked hoe, with the crooked whore, with the crooked prostitute. Yeah. We on fire right now, bro. We talking all that ill will, man. We going in, we showing them how it's supposed to be done. Let's get it. I mean, all this build up and these these damn low screens, bro. Like, come on, man. Let me, let me get to the point, bro. Let's get to the point. I should cut this out, but I don't feel like it. Let's just do it, man. Let's just go ahead and cry wolf. Episode five, let's go. I mean, your eyes. I might just oh, I know we not finna get a recap for the whole for thing, bro. Like Oh my god, bro. 
I might just give y'all a grand finale right here. Like, if this episode ain't too long, I'll go ahead and make this be one long ass video for y'all, bruh. I appreciate y'all. Much love and respect. Much love, much love, much love. I got a lot of questions at the end of this video. If this is the last video, I have a lot My of questions sister. that I want to ask you all. So stay tuned and uh Do you even yeah. give a shit about all right. us? Just stay tuned the for that. Straits. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I ain't gonna lie, We're having Nor uh, Nerissa. No! Nerissa has been my greatest asset of, of this whole entire trees, series. No. She has led me to all my leads hey, and told me where to go. Really gonna send me to the farm, and you? gave me the biggest help. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up. Big B, low key, friend, even though Big B like to solo a lot and he be going out there, he ain't afraid of the he ain't afraid of the business. Like he ain't afraid of getting in the business, getting in the mix. Not gonna lie to y'all. Big B got a... He got like... He oh like God, three and two, Big bro. B. He even got his ass whooped a couple times. This time was no joke. Like, he got his ass whooped. He first, first and foremost, he lost to the uh, to the twins, bro. D and Dumb or whatever their name is. When he got hit in the head and then stumped out when he was knocked out. That's a L, bro. That's a whole L. Big B, wait. He done took some L's in this game. Make sure you bring him back alive. But he didn't have he some wins. Trial. Why don't you like him versus show? Woody. We have a great... He kind of lost that one, bro, because Woody was, had him choked up on that wall. Like, he lost that. He won the second time with the dumb when they when they shot when they rickied his ass. He won that one, but then he lost to Bloody Mary. Like, technically, that's three L's right there. Like, he won in three, but he did beat the hell out of uh, Jersey though. So two and three right there. So. Yo, why my headphones so goddamn loud right now, bro? Like, my headphones ain't. Yo, why my Elgato peeking on the audio? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. All right, there we go. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well... Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Sit down with your damn deformed head oh, ass! Yeah. It's your damn chili bowl, ball spot. Got that damn uh, Hawaii in the back of your head. Hmm. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery, kidnapping, extortion, murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man, well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Don't try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. I just woke I up 30 minutes ago, y'all. And I'm truly sorry about it. Let me check my face, you know. Mm. You. And Sometimes you be in a hurry to get ready to do these videos, you know. You may miss a couple spots. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you. 
and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. Then come on then. But I simply can't divulge that information. How one of your eyes wide open and the other one sleep? You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. Shut your ass up! You know who did it. Now tell me. Fuck you, Big B. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Are you serious? After I spared your life? Or was it the other one I spared? If you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter. Look at him mind. smiling, bro. Georgie. Look you at him smiling. Wanted, so just sit down. Sit now. down, Jersey. Damn, you keep listen. Listen to your master. Yeah, I killed him. So what? You getting punched too? Get your hands off me! Nope. Everybody catching hands around here, bro. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. Woo! This is right, bollocks, sis. You just got a teardrop tattoo. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is huh? this? Huh? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him you out people. Like that? Give a Who is you people? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with it. I know why they call you him the crooked man, because his nose is crooked as hell. I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know what would happen if I tried to grab Georgie. To complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Round two, huh? Round two. Well, look at you all fixed up. Okay, they. Uh, okay, I'm about to take another L again. What is going on, bro? Nah, Jersey. Jersey got to go more. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't witness him firsthand. He plays a little bit dirty. Take this. Whoa! Oh no! Okay. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Uh, hey, get this dude. Oh, are you like serious? Nice you, Come on! Turned out. Move! Oh, he dead. Game over. Game over, bruh. Uh, he got that Gordon Ramsay. Oh, get sliced like a cherry pie. Uh, uh give me that. Uh huh. This way. Get your ass off me. 
with your weak ass. Hey, it's time to end him. Oh, he still got that, uh, he still got that thing in his head from when he got hit by the woodsman. He got that cut. Are we not? Nah, kill him. What you standing there for? Like, this is law and order, like the last episode. Like, the, come on, man. Come on. Go, bro. Go do that. Shit. I know. Hey, I'm on you. Hey, you're not as innocent as you looking, bruh. Come on now, get him. Big B. Ah, world's strongest man. Oh, he didn't, oh, he didn't leveled up again. He didn't leveled up again. Come on now, Big B. Hey, hold on, you gonna have to uh, hit them with that crane spell. This whole town is seeing you like this, bro. You out here running like a football player. Hey, he crazy as hell, bro. What the hell going on with him? Oh! Come on, you gotta... Can I take a shortcut or something? Oh! 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 I don't know, I just pressed... I, I ain't gonna lie, I pressed down first, bro. I got lucky right there. Oh! Harambe, Harambe. Let's get it. Come on, Big B. You better go. You better go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do look a little bit human right now, I guess. Let's go. Hey, who, what's this? Oh, that's Crooked Man. <laughs> oh. Okay, Wolverine. Crack my neck as I'm leaving the scene. Okay. How Big B get a shirt, bro? Come on, man. Like, what's going on with this, bro? He could at least have a tank top on, man, or something, bro. Like, how he get his own shirt back? Oh, he bleeding out. Georgie on his period. All right, let's get it. Holy shit. You did it. Shoot, let's go. Come on, man. That was good, bro. That was good. No, 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 no. no. What am I going to do now? You busting in on him, bro. What am I gonna do now? Oh, you scared of dying, huh? You weren't scared about... You're too late, Bigby. She's dead. What the fuck happened, Georgie? What's it look like? I'm really not in the mood, Big Bear. <coughs> so why don't you just fuck off? Stop <laughs> talking, Georgie. <sighs> oh, you what? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. Especially not with a piece of shit like you. <laughs> Come on, you man. You think that'll help? You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. What the you hell? She did it. Just pulled her ribbon off right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. How could she do this to me? Why the hell would she do that? <laughs> she said she'd had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original, Big Bit. 
The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. It started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. Fuck. Ooh. It's not her fault if you used her to keep those girls under your thumb. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Like anyone could ever tell Vivian what to do. This was our place, Bigby. She was in it from the beginning. But then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Yo! She would rather die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? Just leaving me here. <laughs> he hit that Michael Jackson. I had to be away. No. Look, I know you think it's my fault that I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine, but I... <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. And then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing <coughs> crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <laughs> Why are you so angry but so look so calm? To pull a runner on us. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one if, to get it dealt with. If I was in George's spot... I don't think I would have killed them. I think I would have just he either scared the girls. hell out of them and then he or me out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I would have had somebody put None hands on them real, real, real bad. That would have, you know, it's had them out of commission fault. for a while. All of it. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Oh, fuck. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. Oh, that knife wound got his intestines hanging out like two here. best friends, bro. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? How do you care? Shouldn't you be more worried fuck. about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river. All right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. We will. What? You're just gonna leave me here. You'll have plenty of time to think about what you've done. Yeah. Fuck you! Piece of shit. Yeah. That would that was probably the best way to do that, bro. Like. I'm gonna let you suffer on that. You kill two people and then you want the easy way out because you in pain right now. Yeah, you still coughing. You still alive, bro. You'll be alive for at least another 30 minutes. You'll be alive for another episode of Rugrats. Let's get it. The Pudding and Pie is now officially closed. Yeah. I'm kind of savage, bro. I'm savage with the reason. You know what I mean? Like. If the front of the car like dented up, cause 
It looked like she ran me over. Oh, you can't even see it. Still warm. He's here, all right. All right, I thought you were gonna open up the door and see if they had any, you know, blues clues in that thing, but I guess not. All right, let's do this, Big B. You know what time it is. It's time to go ahead and get it over with, bro. Of course. Man, keep that thing open, man. I'm not sure that's how that works in real life. I feel like if you break the door handle on the outside, the lock still remains locked. But okay. So this is where they've been sending these. There go a logo. The best, what they say, the best safety device is, is careful worker. That sounds like some real corporate stuff right there, bro. Hell nah. Here we go. Big B Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> yeah. As long as you know my name, that's all that matters. You oh, look at the board. Something. Look at the board, bro. Oh, they've been following me, bro. Look at Faith and Narissa arguing. Oh, this was probably dumb indeed. Snapping all these pictures because that's why they were following me so I damn much, bro. You. That's good that y'all used to fear me. Y'all need to. Yo, can I, can I walk, bro? I got to press up on the deep. What? There it is. That's the thing that used to pull your body apart, pull your bones out. That's what they were talking about. Bigby just walking through like he ain't scared of nothing, bro. Bigby said, I'm here, bro. I'm real here. The workbench. Oh, this is where they making them silver bullets. She's sneaking. Time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. She not trying to talk, bruh. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. Let's go. <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Did you you hit me first when my back was turned. Whoa, Bigby, get your ass up. Come on now. Man, let's go. Man, get off off you, bro. Shoot. Hey, I ain't playing fair when they ain't playing fair. I'm not finna. Okay, turn around. Okay, square up. Put your dukes up. Put your dick beaters up. Put your dick beaters up. Let's fight. Come on, man. I'm not finna do that. What are you, Usain Bolt? What's going on right now, man? You ever feel like you got something sharp in your foot? Like it feel like something is like in there and it's like, it's it's got that stabbing type of feel in your foot. But when you scratch your foot, you can't get it. It's like a little, it's like a little fiber or something, you know? That's how I feel right now. I keep scratching my foot against this carpet. Oh!
Man, come on, man. Big B. Big B. Where are you? Come I'm not going to lie. The only Oh, okay. So this is who you truly are. This is who you truly are. I would never talk to you in real life. Baby, you, you too slow for her. She got 99 speed, bro. She's a created player. Come on, man. I messed up right there too, though, at the same time. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, just fall down, bro. Like, just, thank you. Let's fall on your back. Don't, now, you know you lay like that last time and she stepped on your arm, bro. Get your ass up. Come on, man. All right, how do I stop this? There we go. One at a time, right? One at a time. All right, they, they not gonna let me have this. They, they definitely not gonna let me have this. Yep, yep. I, I'm, I'm ready to just take my L's, bro. Even when I hit the damn action commands on time or time sequences, whatever you want to call them, it don't even matter, bro. But man, you ain't got time to be diving on nobody, bro. Throw her off of you. Baby! Oh, game over. Okay, man, my. There we have. Oh, game over. I lost. Come on, Big B. Let's go, Big B. Let's go. Oh, yeah, see, excited about that, bro. Let's go. Come on, man. Get her off you. Yeah. Who next? This ain't no damn, uh, this ain't no damn race. Get your ass off me. I ain't see Biscuit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bite her head off. <laughs> Come on, Big B. Let's get it. Now, Big B, you know your big ass head ain't gonna fit through that pipe, bro. Come on, man. You doing stupid stuff right now. Man, Big B, open your mouth a little bit wider and let that fall out. Ooh. Or oh, prove me wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Get your ass off me. Hey, you gotta find the original one, bro. This is not gonna end until you find the original one. There go the original one, bro. What are you, a, a Arcanine? You about to do flamethrower? Here we go, fire blast. That's Blizzard, bro, that's Blizzard. That's some powerful win, bro, if he could do that. failed but I didn't Nah, fam, you definitely did not take your pants and shirt off. 
before you did that, bro. Come on, man. You are not the Hulk, bro. You do not automatically just get your clothes just delivered to you. Like, the, uh, why the Hulk be doing that, bro? Nah, even in the movies, his pants be ripped up a little bit, but they still be fitting him. Like, how is that possible, bro? How? To rip you apart right now. This gun holds six. I'm not scared of that, bro. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Yeah, this put the gun down! Portion. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? An opportunist? I'm a, a manipulator? A fraud? A There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. All right. Let's take a man, bro. Point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Damn, why your feet shaped like not that? Too reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? I'm doing this for Faith, because she and Lily died, and someone is gonna answer for that. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. You! He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's I'm not gonna kill you. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Alright, All right, let's, let's go. go, bro. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it. No! You don't get to keep, you don't get to make these damn decisions, bro. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Man, you come on, bro. Arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Oh, Sean Bradley built ass. Tall, linky, uncooked hot dog looking ass. I'm like, man, come on, man. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. He spit on him. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk Boy. about it Boy. did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Okay, okay, about okay. time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say for murderer. Yourself? My you wife killed girl. Lily. She was my Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to me? You you're a fucking <laughs> 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 he really arguing with one arm. Everyone, can I have your
your attention. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't yeah. believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called Here the we shot. go. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What? Come on, Monopoly man. If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? Let's go! Insist. Don't talk to my woman like that! You're you lucky I don't come from behind you and sneak you! Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried That's out kind of a coward order. move. You handcuffed already. Inciting Why I gotta sneak you? I can't just, various members of the Fable just County, punch you, bro. Including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. <laughs> Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? I'm not going to interrupt her. Hmm. First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell, you did. Stop the charade. We know you. Man, let him speak. Six asses is down. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. Y'all no all was secrets. acting all we scary, and now that he in handcuffs, y'all want to be tough. Y'all wasn't tough when he was by himself, Dolo with his team. Well, I guess you ain't Dolo if you with your team. But y'all know what I'm saying, bro. Yo, L Lawrence, Prince Lawrence, what did that shirt say, bro? Come on, man. You couldn't put on another shirt, bro. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand. They do. two of his most faithful employees. Oh man. Had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit. He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? A lot of misunderstanding yeah, going on from you. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. 
use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees. I know that I did not just say the down. crowd is considering some of them the crooked me. man. They are not my Look at them folding. Look at them. Their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to? I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right. Selling ass so is very distasteful. So they leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her she got a tree. Common. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the oh. Crooked Man. Oh! We've made some mistakes. I've oh, made some mistakes. Oh, that made my body itch. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear, right away but i want you all to know that i care deeply about all of you and so does the sheriff yeah right i can't promise you perfection no one can but i can promise to always have your best interests at heart like you did with her things haven't been great for a while now but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him the crooked man's been exploiting you Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those Let's girls get it, bro. will have their justice. Nah, don't try to stand by me now with y'all arms folded looking like the Justice League. Nah. Hell nah, man. This is not Avengers. Assemble. Come on, man. Let's go, bro. Like, what? Sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. What? But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Uh... Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just 
just of me. course it's right this shut up beauty all of you for profit georgie Let killed him make sure i understand you you're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Just shut up, bro. Just shut the fuck up already. It's okay. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe Wait, he's, he's right. not dead Did though. You we'd all just let that go. You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his yeah, own what? protection. Oh, you're right. Hey, that was a weak ass rebuttal, bro. Come on, man. Let's move forward. That was weak as hell. I thought he had some real so, evidence on me. You won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to escape. Look how disconnected his eye is but to reality, to bro. Their own this isn't right. Oh, please. This everything this about this man is crooked, bro. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone, just shut the fuck up. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to you. This is how it's always yes. been. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? treating you as mindless this is going on for too long bro like destiny without me like who do your guilty bro you did a whole we, man, you got people locked up you enslaving people extorting come on man manipulating like this is over for me man you're getting dragged out protect you from the big bad wolf snow will because i'm gonna be in snow draws excuse me yeah I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's mother? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie i'm sorry um i don't think narissa I my name is narissa it's okay i wanted to tell the truth just... he ordered them dead this fucker faith and lily that's a lie i was in the goddamn room when he did it faith and lily are dead because of you the only two people who ever gave a damn about me and now i can finally say you're an asshole I thought you were going to say more than that. The bottom of the witching well for what you did. Nurissa, you heard him. You witnessed this? He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Woo! Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. Look at this that. You want to repay all I've done for you. 
What, yes. You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't get it. So we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's going to be the deputy mayor. But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Okay. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh teach him a fucking lesson. No. I throw him down the well. Everyone, I'm not this way. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he's trying to dump me down the well! Woo! Punch that eye right out of his socket! There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. When you try to sleep, finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still end it already. <sighs> You're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> Holly got ass, oh, really? bro and faith yes another one of us to erase from the books but i supposed to do that or i supposed to lock him up what's the difference between locking him up and throwing him in the wishing well is the wishing well like death row and then locking him up is just like sentenced to life in prison Big B humming? Oh, he in a good mood. Oh, hi. Oh, that's not Big B. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, great. What up, fly catcher? Oh, hold on, they got a sister in the game. Hey! <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. All right. So that's how we ended this, bro. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Bruh. Okay. We might well keep it going, bruh. Oh. Oh. Oh, Garland. 
Jesus. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Dang. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. What's up, TJ? You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Maybe he'll have some friends, uh... White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a okay. good one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She Let's said go. it's pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Mundy seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. Uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all well. set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? I don't know. Like, what? Why do you think I know? Like, I'm just over here just. Saying goodbye. Hey, what up, Narissa? What kind of a bag is that? Why your hand tanned and your arm not? Like, what? I mean, why your arm tanned but Hi. your hand pale as hell? What the hell? Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah. I guess I am. She's scared to take that motherfucker off. Easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. I understand. Okay. I get it. Listen, I. Look at I them heels, okay? I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Got tired of selling that ass, decided huh? Decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. That's and what started Faith this. Stole that photo. We had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I, I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the length? Oh, they she killed Faith. Who had physical evidence. I had to. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out. Okay. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I hear a cigarette. I got a huff and puff. Here. Thank you.
That nicotine hit different when you know you didn't did know, wrong in your life. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you oh, know okay. what I said. Oh. It wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I mean, yeah, that is. Yes, uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality, especially after that night after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, Georgie killed her and you brought her to me. I walked her over here and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. So that ring in her mouth was you yeah I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention so you you started all this I just pointed you in the right direction people like us get forgotten all the time the crooked man was counting on that when we suffer we do it in silence and the world likes it that way so she was the fade she was the initiator like you know existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make Okay, Bigby. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these So people. Faith was dead. You know Faith was dead way. before all of this started, basically. Both of you. You two like, make a good before team. I even went to Don't Toad House, Faith was dead. Job. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because yeah. you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. I, I feel like I got to acknowledge my wrong. And while she hyping me up, I still got to acknowledge my wrongdoings, though. Worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Hmm. That's dope. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Faith World Two would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm gonna let her go. But I know now, bro. But I know now. Yeah, Big B. Big B know the truth. Big B know the truth, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna let her go. Yo, Faith was dead from the beginning of the game, bro. Wolf. <laughs> ah, 
nah, that was dope. That was dope. That was fire, bro. Faith was there from the beginning of the game. Narissa was the one glamoring herself the whole time as Faith, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Narissa was really out there. She was really like the she was the heart of this investigation, bro. Without her. I can't, hey, like I said to her, though, that's why I didn't chase her, because I told her what's done is done. I can't chase after her, because it's already over with. Damn! <laughs> that's fire, bro. That That's actually, that's a real curveball right there. What did you do to Georgie, bro? You and 31% of players left Georgie to die. Good. Did you give the crooked man a trial? You and 90% gave him a trial. Did you punish the crooked man? You and 38% of players threw the crooked man down the witching well. What did everybody, y'all ripped his head off? What? Did you accept TJ's offer? Of course we would, bro. What were your last words to Narissa? You and 29% of players said, I made a lot of mistakes. You got to admit your wrongs, bro. See, a lot of, only 29% of us is real. The rest of y'all, you got a little fakeness in you, bro. Special traits or special stats. You lied to him about seeing beast. I mean, beauty. You refused to keep her secret. You use similar interrogation tactics. You beat him up during the interrogation. Damn. You help him to avoid the farm. You slap crane. <laughs> Crooked man. You took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down. Oh, he, he's dead because of that. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a little prison or whatever. I don't know. You chose to smash him over the head with a bottle during the interrogation. You confiscated D's money while he was in custody. Good. You left him to die. You smashed this place up. You offered her a job. You ripped his arm off at the trip trap bar. You drank with grin after Lily's funeral. Okay. You made a deal with him. You went to his place first. You prevented him from dying. Oh, he was supposed to die. Damn. You gave her a cigarette during the final conversation. You bought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the cricket man back alive. Yo, you chose to wait for him. You accepted uh, his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. Let's go, bro. Narissa. Narissa, Narissa, Narissa. You sneaky little. <laughs> if that was really me in my place, I would have been like. <sighs> she was behind this. She was behind this all. All of it. <sighs> we'll talk again. We'll talk again. Let's get it, bro. Continue the story, yo. We ain't continuing nothing, bro. An hour and 12 minutes, bro. All right, man. That is pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed the Wolf Among Us, the Book of Fate. Let's, let's take a look at the Book of Fables, bro, to see what we got on our first run. Because clearly, there was something that I should have did in Chapter 1, something I missed in Chapter 2. You know, I want to let everybody see this stuff. Chapter 3, I missed a lot of stuff in Chapter 3, bro, probably with my decisions that I did. Chapter 4, Chapter 5, and then over here, we got it all, bro. All right, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank y'all so much, man, for checking it out, checking me out. I hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough. Let me know what you all thought about this. Look at the trophies that we missed. Let me know what you all thought about my playthrough. Hopefully, I did a good job for y'all. Hopefully, y'all were excited. This was like a breath of fresh air for y'all, or with my decisions, at least. Um, outside of that, leave a comment below. Let me know what other Let's Play you want me to do. I'm open to any game, as long as it has a story to it. RPG style, open world, as long as you got a story, not too long, etc. I'm down to do it, so drop a comment on what you want to see me do next. On a scale of 1 to 10, Wolf Among Us is clearly going to get an 8.8 .8 out of... No, you know, I always do 1 out of 5 stars, bro. From a scale of 1 to 5 stars, I'm giving the Wolf Among Us a 3.8 out of 5, okay? I did not like that there were some decisions that I like the, the ribbon part. Like, I didn't even remove it. I didn't click to remove, but he still acted like it. So, some of this stuff felt like it was going to happen regardless. It wasn't enough 
openivity, if that's a word, like it wasn't enough openness in there to change the narrative of how things went. So that's like my only decision, like that's my only mindset when I'm playing a decision-based game. So outside of that, 3.8 out of five stars, really got into it, really loved it. Y'all let me know what you thought about it and let me know what game you wanna see me let's play next. Y'all have a great day. Mental health is important, so make sure that you are taking care of yourself every single day. Like the video on your way out, subscribe if you are brand new and peace. An hour and 15 minutes, bro. This gonna render for a long time, bro. My mouse is dead, bro. Come on now.